Master Chowdhury and Charles, Lantern Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Fakemon Showcase. Now, of course, if you don't know what this series is, just in case you're new here, I do have to explain this to all new, uh, to explain this to you. And so, you regulars, you don't really need to listen to this technical little bit here. But I have this friend called Lacey. She makes Pokemon designs. She draws her own Pokemon designs. They are Fakemon. Just in case you know, I know leak season never technically goes away in the whole Pokemon community. And people might think these designs are real. They're not, by the way. They are 100% not. These are not leaks or spoilers. You can definitely watch this video without having to worry about Sword and Shield news. Because I'm not that guy. I'm not a Sword and Shield news YouTuber. I am a Sword and Shield news let's play. I am a Sword and Shield let's player. That's what I am. I am a Sword and Shield let's player. Hint, Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke coming in November. Just want to put that hint out there so people can understand. Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke coming in November. It's going to be awesome. Day 1, November 16th. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Anyway, I have this friend called Lacey. She makes designs of her. She makes designs of Pokemon. She draws Pokemon that she would like to be in Pokemon games, and the Pokemon games have inspired her to do that, and that's awesome. And she asks me to show them off here on my channel in a series called the Fakemon Showcase. So that is exactly what I do. Now I do know that some of these images are inspired by designs that she may have seen on DeviantArt. I have to stress that. That is, that is totally okay for you to be a inspired by designs. You can be inspired by anything. Insp inspiration can come in many different forms. But of course, we have to be careful where inspiration uh, where the line is between inspiration and plagiarism it's always a it's a very thin line and if we apps if somebody crosses it in the world of deviant art you can get hurt you can get re they go off on you okay so i just want to stress this right now these may be desi uh, these designs may be inspired by people from deviant uh, other designs from deviant art which is okay in my books but you have to tread that thin line when you're doing that uh, so, just want to stress that right now because I have been getting comments in my comment section about people seeing designs in other places that are Lacey's. They may have, she at times may have been inspired by DeviantArt. But when you get inspired by DeviantArt, you have to tread the thin line. So let's get on with the um, Fakemon showcase for today's episode. So we have 21 images to go through, so this is going to be quite a long one for you guys. And let's start with Albany here. This is a ground and ghost type, and it's a it's similar to my light. It's similar to my electric, I would say, but like it's not it's not my electric. <laughs> But it kind of does, I get my electric vibes from it. I did get my electric vibes from it when I first looked at this Pokemon. I honestly did. And I do like it. It's actually really cute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of dog Pokemon. Dog Pokemon, <laughs> there's a lot of dog Pokemon that look similar. And this uh, design, uh, to me, is sort of also looks like Melectric, and I like it. It's a good design. It works pretty nicely with what it is, and um, Melectric worked pretty nicely with what that was too, so it's a perfect, reliable little puppy that you would uh, definitely want to put... I definitely want to put on your team, I would probably say. Albany, Albany here is a, a ground and ghost type, which, again, is a pretty good depth is a pretty good typing and would work pretty nicely not weak to too much so it's not got four times weakness to anything but it is uh, weak to like ice and grass and water and the things that normally ground uh, and ghost types would be normally weak to so it's not it's not you know making itself strong against stuff but it's also not making itself you know a very much weak to something so that's pretty cool I could see uh, things like maybe, I don't know, 
I could see like an ability where I know Curse Body. Curse Body would probably be an ability I think this thing might have. Uh, I don't know what else, no. Maybe like Sandstorm? Maybe? I mean, Pillow Sand is Sandstorm. This could have Sandstorm. Uh, also, I think this might, this thing has got to evolve. It's also, it's a lovable, reliable little puppy here. And I think this thing has got to evolve. I feel like this thing would evolve. I feel like this thing could be part of a, a... I feel like it evolves once more. I don't think it's like it's a part of a three-stage evolution line where this is the start of it. If that was the case, I'd probably say more that this is, was a middle evolution, really, in my personal books. But it's up to you. I like it, though. This is the ground and ghost type, and it is Ar Albany. And then we have Boutillon. Is it... Uh, Buteron, Buteron, uh, Buterion. It is a poison evolution, and I honestly think we should have more evolutions. I would love to have evolutions for every single type, and then also, of course, I have Mega Eevee as well. You know, for all types, just like they do. You know, Mega Eevee exists in Insurgents. By the way, just want to mention that Mega Eevee does exist in Insurgents. But the way to get it is kind of hard. But I do like I do like this Pokemon. So yeah, this is a poison type evolution, and I love it. It's a very interesting design. We can see the pawn. I can definitely see it's got poison. It's going to have poison touch for an ability, meaning you know, of course, if you touch it with a physical attack, you're the one. Sorry, you're the one who's going to get poisoned by it, and that's that's a very powerful move. And I could definitely see that as the ability that this thing gets uh, if it was to get an ability. I could definitely see Poison Touch being a thing. But I definitely like it. It's very, it's very, very interesting. And yeah, it looks hella cute. Uh, but also I could definitely see it getting things like, maybe like Horn Leech? I know it's a grass type move, but I feel like it could get it since it has horns. But also, you know, things like Sludge Bomb and uh, Gunk Shot and stuff like that. Definitely could see it getting those kind of things. Uh, more of a... Possibly more of a, uh, like, specialty defensive uh, evolution with a little bit of special attack. Probably not physical in any way, shape or form. But, like, definitely uh, specially defensive, I would probably say. So there he is, Bufion. Bufion? Uh, the poison evolution now I pronounce things like four different five times and each and every one of them is different I barely know how to pronounce things myself yes English is my first language yes I am English but you know I've got like a second to pronounce it and give it to, uh, give the name to you guys so it's not always clear then we have Kelpony Kel who is a water type and honestly it looks a little bit Keldeo, and I love Keldeo. Keldeo is my favourite Pokemon of all time. I actually even used a Keldeo when I was first playing through Black and White 2. And, yep, I got kind of get a little bit of Keldeo feels to this, and I love it. It's a little sea pony, and I love it. Kelpony is really cool, and honestly, it looks hella cute. I'm, I love it. It's a very interesting Pokemon. Definitely could see it learning things like Aqua Jet, um, maybe maybe Aqua Tail later, much later, later on looks more like a physical Pokemon but also it's probably quite fast this is probably a baby evolution in my books and would evolve into something much more powerful when it grows older but yes Kelpony is a water type and definitely looks absolutely amazing I don't, I don't know what to say about it it's so cute I would love to have this in a game and then we have Chilead. Oh, it's a chili. Oh, that is cool. It's a Pokemon that's based on a chili. And that's cool. It's sort of like a chameleon and a chili. Chilead. Oh, it's fire and grass type. Fire because of chilies. And of course, grass because chameleon. So, yeah. So, yeah, I really like it. It's actually really cool. That is an absolutely really inventive idea for it to be based on a chili. And that that is so cool. Look at this thing. 
I mean, if there's a, like an ability that like burns you on contact with it, that's what I could see this thing happening because that's what chilies do. You know, if you make physical contact with you, it burns you. So yeah. Uh, but and again, I could also see it doing that thing where it uh, makes people too nervous to eat their berries, as well, uh, which would also be a thing that I could see people. I could see it having as an ability. Uh, I could definitely see this thing evolving. And honestly, I feel like this is not its full form. But honest, uh, but uh, things like leaf blade, things like uh, I don't think it would learn vine whip. But I think it'd learn Leaf Blade. I think it would learn Flare Blitz and stuff like that much more later on. Flame Wheel, possibly even. Uh, Flame Burst. I think it might be even a Spear. I think it could be a special. I think it could be a special word uh, typing. You know, it might have physical attacks, but I feel like this could be special. Then we have something that I think we've shown this design a long time ago on the Figgy One Showcase. This, uh, but of course she has uh, re-detailed it. This is her version of a Lauren Sneasel. And it's really cool. I mean, I've seen this before, but I love, I still love the design of a Lauren Sneasel. It is, or since Galean forms exist now, Galean Sneasel, you know. It's either a Lauren Sneasel or Galean Sneasel. You know, it could be both. It could be neither, but still really, really cool. It's dark electric type. Ape, and that is such a cool typing for it to have. I love the idea of this thing. It's still going to be working on Sneasel's uh, speed. Uh, for Sneasel, is a frail. It's a kind of a frail Pokemon, but it's one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, and actually still competitively viable in uh, draft leagues is Sneasel. Actually, still competitively viable is Sneasel. Weavile is more competitively viable than Sneasel, but Sneasel can still work on some teams. You can still pick up Sneasel as a lower tier draft pick if you can't pick up Weavile. Well, and it, it still practically works the exact same way. You just got to be, it's a bit more frail, you know, and a bit quicker. So you got to work on that. But that's really cool. But you know, it's in a low and sneezel. The dark and electric typings work really nice for it. I can still see it having the exact same abilities it has now. Uh, but also maybe like pickpocket as well would be an ability it could have. Um, maybe one that like took uh, based on contact with prioritize the Pokemon. But I don't know. I think that would probably be pickpocket. But pickpocket definitely. Then we have a Lowen Beneri. Oh my god, this thing is scary as hell. Oh my god, yeah, I love it. It's ghost and normal type, which is a typing we do not have in the games. I don't know why we do not have a ghost normal type at this point in the games. And this thing is hella scary. Look at this thing. This is a. Cr this looks like a creepy, cursed bunny. And if this evolves into a Garlean or a Lowen. Lapunny that looks something like this that would be even more creepy no one would make it be making rule 34 of Baneri or Lapunny anymore with this thing being a thing because that is creepy that comes straight out of your nightmares that's how much this Pokemon uh, that's what this Pokemon is and it's a cool design because of that I like designs like that yeah sure it's maybe not child friendly but you know creepy things are supposed to come out of your nightmares and of course ghost type pokemon come out of those nightmares too so all uh, all ghost type pokemon are absolutely creepy and that's the way they should be all scary things should be creepy and should look like they could come out of nightmares yes. and this thing looks so creepy and i love it i love the idea of this thing and i don't know what abilities it would have or i think definitely shadow sneak uh, later on, it could have uh, Phantom Force, uh, you know, the ability where it, just, uh, it disappears and then comes back and attacks. I think it's like Shadow Force, but Phantom Force is Giratina's move. It, it's not based on the same principles, but, you know, I feel like that's what this would have as a move, uh, one of the move sets. And I like it. It's really great. I really like it. It's definitely probably going to be a bit slower than actual Lapunny, but definitely still could work as an actual Pokemon. This is a Lowen Beneri, and it's a ghost and normal typing. Then we have the Red Panda Pokemon. Kuba is a fire type. 
I like it. It's very cute. It's actually really, really cute. It's a really cute Pokemon. And I could definitely see it in a physical fire type, but also quite fast. It might have a few special moves like Ember and Flame Burst as well, but I think it's more on the physical side of things. Sorry, I've been recording a lot today and I need a drink. Anyway, so yeah, definitely can see where she got the inspiration for being Red Panda. Definitely looks very much Red Panda-y. And yeah, definitely really cute. I think this could be a single stage evolution Pokemon and it would work pretty well as a single stage evolution Pokemon. And there should be more Red Panda Pokemon because the Red Panda is something that I really like. It's a really cool poke. It's a really cool animal and it's a really cool design. I love the Red Panda. This is Chuchilla. Chuchilla it is a Pikachu clone and again it is amazing. It is ice and electric type. It is the ice mouse Pokemon. And look how cute this thing is. Look, couldn't you just imagine it on your shoulder or something like that? I mean, yeah, sure, your shoulder it since it's an ice and electric type, your shoulder would be pretty much frozen. But uh yeah. <laughs> I think it would be really cool to have that on your team. Uh, I think it could do really good work. It's sort of like a chinchilla and a mouse Pokemon at the same time. And it works out really nicely. I like the typing of ice and electric. And it's so cute. It's so cute. Look at this Pokemon. I could just imagine a plush of this. I could just imagine Pokemon being able to base a gimmick, uh, base a Pokemon. Uh, you know, base a game around it and base a clone on it. I just think this would be a perfect Pikachu clone and because every game has a Pikachu clone and this would be amazing as a Pikachu clone. Honestly, it's really cool. You can see where it gets its design from Pikachu and it's so cool. I love it. I love the design here. Then we have this. Um... Normal, num, numos, numosum. Uh, it is grass and normal type, and kind of looks like a, you know, Bowser's clown car. Uh, you know, from Mario. It kind of looks like that. That the base of it looks like that, and then vines are coming out from it. And the actual Pokemon is this. This is the actual Pokemon, but it looks like it's got like a but. Oh fuck tulip or buttercup you know the flower the flowers that look of a cup design and it's uh, become sentient in one of those flowers and the flower has become sentient that's what i'm guessing it's sort of like uh the baby in a way and and that's really cool i honestly like uh, the ideas behind the baby and florgeous and uh and stuff like that so yeah death and fluette i mean as well so definitely like this pokemon definitely like the design of this uh Nomos is grass and normal type and definitely can see where it gets both of its grass and normal typings from and definitely like the idea of it, it looks like the clown uh, the bottom of it looks like the clown car from you know mario and that's really cool like that then we have consneers the can canoes canoes which is a fairy type looks sad and depressed but it actually looks kind of cool as well and there's nothing wrong with Pokemon that looks sad because they're really cute too and they have their own special ways of being cute and of course it has a little you know I really don't want to get it I really don't want to say this just in case my video gets uh, suppressed from saying it, but bogey. It has a bogey coming out of its nose. And that, uh, Cubchu. Cubchu. It reminds me a lot of Cubchu. Ah, there you go. The Cubchu also has a bogey coming out of its nose. And that's, it, it makes it look hella cute as well. And this Pokemon looks hella cute as well. So, it's a little Pokemon. I can see it evolving into something big. It's a fairy type. Definitely can see where it gets its origins for a fairy type. So definitely very much like it. Then we have a panda Pokemon. And we need more panda Pokemon. This is a normal panda Pokemon. You know, not a red panda Pokemon. This is a normal panda Pokemon. This is 
Pammo. Uh, Pammo is a normal type and it's a panda Pokemon. You can definitely see it being a panda cub and it evolving into something uh, much more like, uh, much more bigger and more pandas are really cute. Because I love pandas. I have a Here's a panda. I have a panda bear. So yeah, I have pandas. I like pandas. Just want to say, I like pandas. Pandas are really cute animals. I love pand. It's one of my favorite uh, pandas. Uh, you know, pandas are one of my favorite things uh, when it comes to animals, and it's a really cute thing. I feel really. I feel like Pokemon should have more pandas, and this is really cool. This is a panda Pokemon. It's normal type. This is Panmo. It's a panda Pokemon, and I love it. Then we have a fake. A Fakemon design which is actually really cool because it doesn't have a name or it's supposed to not have a name it's just that's supposed to be how it's designed it doesn't have a name and that's really cool because it works with what it is it's supposed I feel like it's supposed to be a legendary we only know uh, if it's type which is dark and only it's only known as a myth so it's really cool. It doesn't have a name, but honestly, I don't think it needs one right now uh, because uh, it looks really cool. This is an amazing Pokemon. It's a dark type Pokemon. It looks really cool, really creepy, and it looks like it's a Pokemon that would exist only in shadows, and that's really a cool idea. Honestly, I love it. Look at, look at this thing. It's looks angry it look it look similar to a dog it looks like a dog pokemon but it looks like a dog pokemon that i would be terrified of because i'm terrified of most dogs well, there are some dogs that i'm actually not terrified of but i'm terrified of a lot of dogs when i see a dog i am terrified of that dog uh mostly until i get to know it and the dog gets to know me and then i know the dog's not going to hurt me but uh, this looks like a dog that would hurt people then we have, this is the Fire Snake Pokemon. This is Colem Colmember. It's a Fire Snake Pokemon. Definitely really cool. Definitely might move alongside trees. It's a Fire Pokemon. And it's the Snake Pokemon. I could definitely see it like having like Flame Burst and stuff like that. Uh, Ember and stuff like that. That's what I could definitely see it again. Kind of looks based on a chili, and that's kind of cool. And the design works out really nicely. I like snakes, and I think this Pokemon could evolve. Yeah, definitely is going to evolve into a much more powerful, also still snake Pokemon. Definitely could see it evolving into a much more powerful snake Pokemon. This is Claw Member. It is a fire snake Pokemon. I don't really know what else to say about it, but like, I really like it. This is the this is a flamingo Pokemon, and again, this the flamingo is the design that Pokemon has not made yet. And I love flamingos. Flamingos are really cool Pokemon, really cool animals. And I think they should be designed into Pokemon. Um, question of the day: uh, If you are watching at this point of the video, answer me in the question in the comment section down below. And also tell me what animals you'd like to see as Pokemon that haven't been designed into actual Pokemon yet. And for one, of, uh, for me, that's Flamingos. Flamingos is one of those Pokemon that hasn't been designed into an actual Pokemon yet. And I can't see why not. It's a beautiful Pokemon. It's a beautiful animal. And it really works out nicely. This is Flamingo. Flamingo. It is a Flamingo Pokemon. And it is water and flying, and it has Swift Swim for the ability. Definitely could see this thing evolving into a much more powerful being. But oh, look, look how cute this thing is! I definitely want to see more Flamingo. I want to see a Flamingo Pokemon. Nintendo, I know you don't watch me. I know you don't know I exist. But please, Flamingo Pokemon, it needs to exist. Flamingos are amazing animals and deserve to have a Pokemon. They do. And definitely this would be something I would like to see in an actual game. Water and flying type would actually be the typing I think it would have. Swift Swim is an ability it could have, very much so. And it definitely works out with what the origins of a flamingo are. So yeah, definitely love it. Then we have Lee Hop. 
Not much is known about this Pokemon, but it is, is a Jackalope Pokemon. Uh, very rare and an unknown typing. Uh, so, I don't really know too much about the Jackalopes, uh, but... Uh, definitely really cool Pokemon. The design is really cool. The actual fact that it's a very rare Pokemon that probably like would appear like point uh, would be like point oh one percent you know it's a one percent encounter in some in like a route or something like that so barely anyone would see this pokemon and that's really cool because there are some pokemon that you barely, no one would ever see not because they're not because they're bad it's just because they're very very rare and that's cool oh and they just they like to exist in their own little world and they don't like to interact with people and that's that's okay. That's cool. That works out very nicely. And it's a really cool Pokemon. And so, Lee Hop here. Uh, it is a Jackalope Pokemon. It's very, very rare. Not much is known about it. And of course, it is an unknown typing. So, we don't know too much about this Pokemon, but that's really cool. Still, I love the design. Then we have a Pegasus Pokemon. And again, if we're looking at Greek, uh, Greek mythology... That's a new, that's a cool new way to go about it. If we were basing a re, if we were basing a region based on Greece, that would be really cool to have more Pokemon based on Greek mythology, Greek gods, and of course, you know, Pegasus Centaur. Pegasus is are really really cool. It's a flying horse. Why wouldn't anyone love a flying horse? Come on, seriously, it's a flying horse. This is Valu, uh, Valu. It is a fairy and flying type, and it is the Pegasus Pokemon. Definitely can see it evolving. Definitely really, really cute, and honestly, amazing. Love it. And it definitely, it's got to evolve into something much more powerful, though. This is a Vogmos. It is a Peacock Pokemon. Again, Peacocks. Another Pokemon design that doesn't exist in the actual Pokemon world, and it needs to. Peacocks are really cool Pokemon. Uh, are really cool animals. And I've seen them in zoos. They're really cool. They're really cool birds. And I love I love peacocks. So, yeah, I would love to see a Pokemon based on a peacock. Definitely wouldn't see it in Gala, though, because, you know, no peacocks live here in the UK unless they're in zoos. But definitely, uh, if it was based on, like, Africa or something like that, I could definitely see a peacock, because that's more of where peacocks would actually be in reality. Uh, but yeah, definitely a really cool Pokemon. I would love to see a, pe a Pokemon based on a peacock. It'd be so cool. I like peacocks. They're really cool. They're really cool Pokemon. Uh, really cool animals. This is a normal and flying type, and again works. Uh, very much could see. I don't know if I could see this being in like a route bird Pokemon. I feel like this would be something very rare. I feel like this could be like kind of rare, like a like Rufflet or Bravery, really. You might have to hunt it down. But it's still normal and flying. And that's really cool. I would definitely pick one of these up on my team. And if it evolved. I would definitely be more into it too. Then we have Mophilus. It is a swordfish Pokemon. And again. Definitely really cool. Uh, I really like. Again. I don't. Do we have swordfish in Pokemon? Again, I don't think it's a fish we've had. I don't think we ever that does. I don't think they've ever made a Pokemon based on a swordfish. Again, possibilities. And look at this design too. Oh my god, it's amazing. I love it. It is water and fighting type. Yep, definitely can see where it gets its water and fighting type from. You know, it's not something you want to. It's not something you want to make angry at you. It's definitely not something you want to make angry at you because it will hurt you. And look at the pa uh, look at it, it. Look at its beak. It's going to hurt you with that. That's where it is. That's where it's going to hurt you with. You know the actual sword bit of the Pokemon is going to hurt you if you annoy it. And it, of course, it deserves that. Mephalus is a swordfish, and I love it. It's a very cool design. I don't really know what else to say about it. Definitely can see it getting things like possibly sacred uh, sacred sword. Maybe I don't know, but we'll see. Definitely really cool. This Pokemon, I have no... Uh, I've heard... I think... Uh, I think Lacey showed me it earlier, and uh, it does not evolve. I know that. 
This is Soleon. It is a water fairy type and it is the Aloft Pokemon. And it's it's a really cool design. I think it could like throw up on trees uh you know near you know near lakes and ponds and stuff like that and that would be really cool and i don't think it actually like go it can go into the water but i don't think it like goes into the water a lot probably just goes into the water for food or to drink but like it wouldn't actually like uh live in the water or just live on this sort of, like a little lake uh, a little tree overneath a oasis in a desert or something like that that and definitely can see where it gets its water and fairy designs from uh definitely really cool it doesn't evolve but it's really cute and i like it this is the hummingbird pokemon this is lipok lipok and it is a normal flying type it is a hummingbird and again more thing uh, more uh, more pokemon based on a hummingbird would be nice and it definitely looks really cool. I could definitely see this hanging on a tree. As uh, as Lacey has got it here. Hanging on a tree branch. Making, uh, you know, probably it can make a beautiful... It could probably make beautiful sounds. So definitely could learn sing or growl or stuff like that. You know, song, you know, sound-based moves, uh, as I like to call them. If the sound type was a thing, that's why I could think this thing would have. This is really going to be a long video, isn't it? But, like, there's 21 images, so of course it's going to be a long video. Uh, yeah, definitely really cool. Definitely can see it evolving into much more powerful Pokemon. Love it. This is Lepok. It is a hummingbird Pokemon. It is normal and flying type. And then this is the final design for you today. This is a Dalmatian Pokemon. Again, Dalmatians... Uh, a dog type that doesn't a uh, dog breed sorry it's not a type it's a breed joe uh, that doesn't exist in normal it uh, doesn't exist in pokemon yet this is Dalpuk, and it is a normal type and it, it's so cute i could definitely see this being a pokemon and i like dalmatians dalmatians are really cute uh, cute dogs i really don't think a dalmatian would ever hurt you you know, you know, I think there are some dogs that could hurt you, but I don't think a Dalmatian could. Dalmatians are really cute Pokemon, uh, are really cute dogs, and I don't think a Dalmatian can actually hurt you. So, honestly, it's really cute. I really like it. And, yeah. There's not much else to say about it, but definitely like the design of it. It's really cute. Uh, this is Dalpuk. It is a normal type Dalmatian Pokemon. So that is all the designs for you this week on the Fakemon. Uh, this time out on the Fakemon Showcase. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment and subscribe. And of course, tell me which of these is your favourite in the comment section down below. And tell me also which animals you'd like to uh, that are not Pokemon already to be Pokemon. You know, to have a Pokemon base in them. Because things like the Red Panda, Flamingos, Peacocks, I know those two are, the last two are birds, but, you know, they also would still work as Pokemon. I definitely could see uh, those working as Pokemon. So, yeah, let's take a look through and review what we've seen. We've seen Dalpuk, it is a Dalmatian Pokemon, it is normal type. Then we have Lup... Uh, then we have Lupuk which is a hummingbird Pokemon, and it is normal flying. Then we have Sicilian. It is a water fairy, and it is the Aloft Pokemon. There it is. Then we have Mantis. Mufus. Malfus. It is a, a water-fighting swordfish Pokemon. Then we have Volux. Volux. It is a peacock Pokemon. It is normal flying. Then we have Valu. Uh, it is a fairy and a flying type, and it is the Pegasus Pokemon. This is Lee Hop. Not much is known about it. It's a Jackalope Pokemon. It is very, very rare, and we do not know its typing. This is Flaming Fabingo, and it is a Flamingo Pokemon. It is fairy. It is water flying. It's not fairy flying. It is water flying, Joe. And it has Swift Swim for the ability. 
This is Clomemba. It is a Fire Snake Pokemon. This is an unknown Fakemon. Uh, and not much is known about this Pokemon, but it is a Dark type, and of course, it is. The, uh, a Pokemon that is only known as a myth. Then we have Pamu, which is a panda Pokemon and normal typing. Then we have Consnus, a fairy type. Very cool. And we have uh, something I think is based on Bowser's Crown Car and the whole origin of Bowser's Crown Car. This is Nomos, it is grass and normal typing. Very cool. We have Chuchilla. It is a, a ice and electric type. It is the ice mouse Pokemon. Then we have Corbar, which is a fire type, and is the red panda Pokemon. Then we have an Alolan Baneri or Galean Baneri. It is ghost normal type. Then we have Alolan Sneasel or Galean Sneasel. It is dark and electric type. And then we have Chilead, which is a fire and grass type, and I think is based on a chili, which is really cool. And a uh, chameleon as well. This is Caponi. Kelp uh, it is a water type, and I love it. It's similar to Caldeo, and I like it. I like Caldeo too. This is Buffion. It is a poison type evolution, and again, really cool. And then we started today's episode with Amon Amoni, a Damo Damoni, similar to Electric, and is a uh, in design for me, and is ground and ghost typing. So there we go. Those are today's 21 Fakemon designs. If you enjoyed this long episode of the Fakemon Showcase, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more fake uh, for more in the future and i hope you love this series because i do make sure to check out lacy uh, her links are down in the description below i have links to her uh, i have links to her twitter her youtubes and of course her fakey monsters uh, and her instagram as well where she will put up her designs on both twitter and um uh, she puts up her designs on Twitter and Instagram, and also she puts them on uh, YouTube as well. But on YouTube, she also makes other video, various other videos as well. Definitely well worth checking a look at is Lacey on uh, fake, uh, on Twitter uh, and, of course, Instagram and, of course, YouTube as well, known as the Core Enforcer uh, on those places as well. But all her links are down in the description below. Go and check her out. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And until next time, mean to love Pokemon, get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell, and you'll be notified first when new videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe and you'll be able to get news about the channel, new videos and so much more as well. And if you want to watch some more videos, there should be some in the top right and top left hand corner of this video. But until next time, from me, Joe and from Lantern as well, we'll see you again.